Good evening. Welcome back to TCM, or thanks for still being here if you've been watching all day. I'm Alicia Malone, and now it's time for A Little Romance. Literally, because that is the name of this movie. From 1979, directed by George Roy Hill, it's A Little Romance. And this is a sort of modern-day Romeo and Juliet, with Diane Lane playing an American girl who is living in France with her parents and falls for a young French boy who loves movies. He is played by Thelonious Bernard, and when the two love-struck kids go on the run, they take with them an elderly friend played by Sir Laurence Olivier. Olivier was in his 70s at the time and entering the final phase of his long career, which was in contrast to Diane Lane, who was at the very beginning of hers, this was her film debut at the age of 14. And imagine acting in your first movie opposite a legend like Olivier. She said it felt like a dream and Olivier had lovely things to say about her in return, calling Lane a constant professional, saying that he was incredibly blessed to work with her and that she may just be the next Grace Kelly. She has indeed gone on to an impressive career, but as for her other co-star, Thelonious Bernard, he was also making his film debut here, but only had a small walk-on role in one more movie before deciding to go back to his life as a student, and later he became a dentist. Also with Broderick Crawford as himself, here is A Little Romance. I love how George Roy Hill chose to use his own Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and The Sting as the films the kids watch. A Little Romance wasn't quite the hit that those two movies had been, but it was nominated for two Academy Awards, one for Best Adapted Screenplay and the other for Best Original Score, which it won. During the making of the film, Sir Laurence Olivier was recovering from pneumonia and was suffering from thrombosis. George Roy Hill was worried about his health and didn't think he'd be able to participate in that bicycle racing scene so Hill had a special motorized bicycle made but Olivier insisted on doing his own stunts with the regular bike and somehow he still had the energy to go out for drinks with the cast and crew and regale them with stories about his life and his love for Vivian Lee. I'll be back later tonight for this week's TCM Imports, but next, my buddy Ben Mankiewicz presents a double feature starring Alan Ladd, showing one of his westerns and one of his film noirs. Enjoy.